um, we'll work on detail later because if you work on detail first um, and then try to figure out your flow you're going to be waiting on a whole load of simulation time and you really don't want that so you want to make sure your fire is moving the way you want it to at a lower resolution and then you work on your detail later so get the flow correct first so I'll just go ahead and simulate that and what I'll do is, since we're not working on detail, I just want to get the, I have to shrink this preview so we can get a more realistic, more real-time preview. And if you shrink it all the way, you'll get a pretty much realistic, or real-time uh, preview. Okay, so now you can see the fire is kind of, you know, it's flowing pretty good. That's kind of what I'm looking for, I think. It's about how high I want it. I don't want anything too high. But I want it to start off like that and then just start shooting out. Alright, so that's that's not too bad. Alright, now I want to kind of break this fire up a little bit. So what we want to do is, let me make sure, see the burn rate, let me turn, the br well we already told you about the burn rate. So we'll tweak it, I mean I kind of like how high it is now, so we'll just leave it at 19. Uh, we'll give it a little bit more, make it a little hotter I guess, and go with 20. This just makes the fire hotter. And expansion, I'm going to go with a little expansion so it kind of gets a little fatter and thicker. And we'll just go to 2, I guess, on the expansion. I'll show you what that does. You'll see the fire will be fatter and thicker now. Let me pause it, and I guess I'll pause it and come back. All right, so now the fire is thicker. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember how it looked before, but now there's a lot more, you know, the yellow's a lot hotter, and it's definitely thicker when it comes up, when it starts. You know, we only turned it up to two, so let me go with a crazy number just so you can see what that one does. Okay, you know, the, you turn your expansion up, that's what I mean by animating your things. You'd want to, like for your expansion, you'd want to start off, like with a high expansion for explosions anyway and then adjust it um, over time to go to a real low number so you get just the fire in the end so you can have a nice explosion and uh, you know we'll go into that in another tutorial I'm sure but for now we'll just I'm gonna, for this fire we're gonna leave it at two but just wanted to show you what expansion looked like and don't get frustrated with the yip you know the big yellow that's not what it would look like in a big explosion you'd be uh, turn tweaking down your um op you know your fire colors and stuff like that and adding the detail in there and then you'll get the color that you want later and you know the textures and all that stuff so this is just for flow so you're just trying to get your flow right and we'll leave the expansion at two um buoyancy i'm going to turn my gravity down to kind of match the buoyancy uh, vorticity, uh, let me show you what that one's like. I'm going to turn that down to zero. That it just adds the vortices and all the little voxels that we're working with. So, we'll go ahead and simulate that now. And now the fire should be just basically a plain flat fire. There's not going to be really any kind of uh, movement to it. You can see it's shooting straight up. It's very flat looking. Nothing, nothing cool. So, you know, we're going to, we can set that up, and I'm going to go with the, we're going to go all the way up to get as much detail as we can out of this, and this will add a lot of little vorticities to all the little voxels that our fire is made as, so it really helps break up the fire, makes it look a lot better. Alright, I just paused it while it simulated. Okay, now you can see it's really jumping around, you know, going kind of cool. It's definitely getting better looking from what we started with. It's more of what I'm going for. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the flow that I like. Now, what we want to do is we're going to add some turbulence to this also. Um, but first, let me go ahead and add... Um, we're going to add a wind warp to this, so I'm going to go because, you know, the, the wind and the turbulence is what really helps make that detailed kind of fire. You know, you, ha you add those things and it'll really change the way your fire looks. So I'm going to go to my space warps, and we're going to add a wind. I'll just add it into the left viewport. 
and I'll have it added or just you know just just add it to the side so it's gonna kick you know kind of blow the fire sideways and stuff and around now I'm gonna go to my the modify panel while I have the wind affected and I'm gonna give it some turbulence 300 we'll go frequency I guess maybe 20 or so 25 scale 5 you know these are kind of standard numbers that I've came up with just to, you know for certain fires uh, changing this you know it, it's a lot of trial and error just changing these numbers to see what kind of effect it's going to do but I you know these ain't no magic numbers these are just numbers that I'm going to start off with it should work fine um, but basically it's just adding a wind an extra kind of a wind to move this fire around a little bit so let me go ahead and simulate it let me bring up my fume effects panel we'll simulate and I'll pause. Alright, let's play that back now. Oh! Got a... Sorry, forgot to uh, add it to this. Fume effects is right now. Of course, it's not added. We added it, but didn't add it to the simulation. Um, Alright, so what we need to do is we need to go to our Fume effects panel, Object Source, and Object Source Panel, the tab. Select the hand tool and add the fire or the wind to it. So now Fume Effects knows it's in there. I'll just we can move this. I'll move the uh well we can leave the wind right there and this after the simulate because now yeah the fire's gonna come up and the wind will blow it after it's simula after the fire is created out of it. So we'll leave it like that. Alright and I'll pause it while it simulates. All right, let's have a look at that. And don't get discouraged when you have long simulations and stuff, you know, because it's worth it. It's worth it uh, waiting for the simulations. When you add more detail, it's going to take really long to simulate, but um, you know, it's definitely worth it. That's why I say uh, work on your flows first, and then go ahead and uh, tweak the. Um, let me fix my volume here. Tweak the uh, detail later on. Uh, and then do a final simulation but uh, for now you do a quick simulation get everything right and then do your final later but um, let's go ahead and play this back so now you can see the winds blowing the fire all with that turbulence in there it's pulling the fire around all different ways and stuff which really helps break it up so now that's definitely more what I'm looking for uh, a little too fast now but we're gonna slow that down uh, but yeah, that's, you know, just adding that wind, uh, you know, just brings in so much more detail. You can tell there's a lot more detail in the fire now. It's breaking up the voxels and everything. Alright, so that's that's looking pretty good. We're going to slow that down now. Go ahead and I guess we'll bring it down half to, not half because that might be too slow. We'll just bring it down to like 8. H eight seven five eight I guess play that all right and your time scale of course is going to change you know it's good to utilize this and like say you create this awesome looking fire and you like it but it's a little bit too quick you can use your time scale you adjust this and it'll actually change everything to where it leaves all your settings and you get pretty much the same result it'll just be like in slow motion or fast motion. So this is really good if you animate this over time to like do an explosion that plumes out and then right when it does the fireball stage you can animate the time scale down really slow 0 0.2, 0 0.3 whatever to slow it down and makes it that's what gives you that slow motion like you would see in like matrix movies and stuff and that cool slow motion look that is you know that's really good for creating the slow motion rather than make the slow motion later in After Effects you can make it real and get all the detail just by adjusting the time scale but um you know don't go too slow on that uh for normal fires and stuff just you know you use it just like I did uh if your fire is looking good and it's too fast that's what you use it for so and anytime you make any adjustments by the way in your simulations panel you have to re-simulate so if you tweak one little thing here, you have to re-simulate to see the results. Under rendering, you don't need to. Under object source, you need to if you change the radius, temperature, all this. You have to re-simulate so it can recalculate rendering. It's the only thing you don't have to adjust because that's just your rendering look. And of course, 